Hey guys, so today I'm going to be walking you through our University Area Housing website. While this website is fairly user friendly, I want to show you all the elements this website has for a potential tenant. So to start, we're on the main page for the University Area Housing Organization, and here you can see how the listings for 2019 and 2020 are already available. So if we scroll down, you can see some of the other features this website has as well. Two cool features are the search by address and the search by number of bedrooms. If you know exactly how far you'd like to live from campus, you can easily search for a property um, using the search by address feature. And if you know how many roommates you will need to accommodate in your property, the search by number of bedrooms feature is especially useful. Another cool feature that I like on this page is the subleaser and roommates um, wanted page. So here you can see that it brings up all sorts of available units that already have roommates. So if you're in a situation where you need a place to stay uh, but you can't find your own, this is a good place to look. So to get navigating through this website, we're going to click on the Browse Our Properties button, which will bring us up to a search page to find a rental. On here you can find a rent on here you can filter through where you'd like to live and other features such as price. Uh, number of bedrooms and if you'd like utilities to be included. I'm just going to hit search so we get all the properties available for 2019 and 2020. When we bring this page up, this is where you would begin your property search. So there's only two listings right now, but each listing has the location of the property, the monthly rental cost, and a description of the property. So for the first one, you can see that the description says that there are three vacancies in a three-bedroom apartment, that there is laundry and air conditioning included, as well as some other features of the unit. On the right, you will see that each listing has how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms are included in the property. And you can also see if utilities are included, as well as if the unit is a non-smoking unit. I'm going to hit the view details now for this first property, and here it brings the first property up to its own page. Now on this page you get to see, um, usually it'll have the approximate utilities cost, but since this apartment comes with utilities, that's not on this page, obviously. Next we're going to hit apply for this property, which brings us to the apply for rental housing in the housing application. I have that actually open in the next tab, so we're just going to go here. I'm not going to really read through all of it. I'm just going to kind of scroll through and read you the headlines so you know what you need to have in an application for the university area housing. So here it's the unit information, which is just um, monthly rent, security deposit, lease term, blah, blah, blah. That's very straightforward. And then applicant information, that's all about you. Applicant's rental history, if you don't have rental history, don't worry, you're not totally discarded from the applicant pool. Here's applicant employer and income. There's applicant credit references, and then there's just um, a paragraph for you to read and sign. And that's the application. It's pretty straightforward. So now we will go back to the main, um, the main website and look at two other features that this website has. So if you rent from the University Area Housing Organization, this Need Maintenance button might become very helpful for you in the future. This is helpful to know about because things are likely to happen to your property while you're renting and you want to be able to have a working apartment. So here, this is just where you'd fill out some information, blah, blah, blah. Then you submit and you get help. So I'm going to hit on the Contact Us page now. This has the address of the location down on Water Street, the business phone number, and the emergency phone number. These, um, you can also see their hours, which is good for you to know in case you need to stop down there ever for anything. That's pretty much all this website has to offer. It's very straightforward, very easy to use. I just wanted to make sure you could see all of the different tabs and know exactly what this website has to offer. I hope that this has been a helpful little tour of the website for you to see what online resources there are in our community specifically for students.